Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another PlayStation Gaming News video. Guess what? Game Pass is coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. That's right, Sony has just announced they are introducing a brand new subscription to take on Xbox Game Pass. Now this is being reported on by a lot of people. We're going to check out the Bloomberg magazine. PlayStation is planning a new subscription service to complete with rival Microsoft's popular Xbox Game Pass, according to some very high familiar people that you probably know. Now, the service is codenamed Spartacus and will allow PlayStation owner to play a monthly fee for access to a catalog of modern and classic games. And yeah, uh, yeah, you should be excited about this. The offering will likely be available to smash hit PlayStation 4 games which has sold more than 116 million units and its elusive successor to PlayStation 5 was launched more than a year ago. But yeah, what exactly gonna be in this new subscription service that is going to compete with Microsoft Xbox? Let's jump into it. Now, when this subscription service launches, which is expected to in the spring, it will merge Sony to existing subscription plans, PlayStation Now and PlayStation Plus. Now, currently PlayStation Plus is required for online multiplayer games and offers free monthly titles, while PlayStation Now allows users to stream or download older games. You know, this is a pretty good service, but you don't really see too many people playing it, and that's why they are combining it and making something to complete with Xbox Game Pass. Now, details on Spartacus may not be finalized, but there is documentation that was reviewed by Bloomberg that outlines the service in three tiers. Here they are. The first tier will include existing PlayStation Plus benefits. The second would include a larger catalog of PlayStation 4 and eventually PlayStation 5 games. And the third tier would add existing demos, game streamings, and libraries of classic PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and PSP games as well. So, what do you guys think as far as this subscription tier? You're going to have the PlayStation Plus, you're going to have it combined with PlayStation Now. The only thing that they don't say is if we're going to have day one games. You know, if it launches the day, can we play? Because that's what Game Pass is all about. People love getting games day one. They don't say anything about that. We're going to have to wait and see. Now, although PlayStation has outsold Xbox in recent years, they lag behind them in their subscription form. And that's why this is happening. Xbox Game Pass is quite amazing to tell you the truth with over 18 million subscribers me being one of them and you have a choice you can get an xbox game pass on pc or you can get it on a good old console you know so it's definitely working out for xbox we're gonna have to wait and see if it's gonna work out for sony if they include day one games then yeah i think it can compete but if they don't then yeah, it's probably not going to see the success that they probably want. We're going to have to wait and see if they're going to include day one games. I hope they do. If they do, then yeah, it's a good time. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. Hope you truly enjoyed it. Once again, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpo Game, I upload a wide variety of videos ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. Links down below, and as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.